What is up guys, it's Jay here, Jay Media One, and today we got another cool product to review. Today we got our friends over here at Ulanzi. You will be able to see other reviews from Ulanzi. We're going to leave a link above so you can see that. Uh, this is a cool company. They design all kinds of cool things. So they like to design things that are like uh, holders, mounts, they design lights. They design all kinds of cool things. They're an up and coming. I, I think it's been about a year since I've done a review on these guys. It's good to see my friends back. This is not a sponsored video. This I purchased for myself because I think it will be useful for my case. However, I think it will be useful for a lot of you guys as well. For the price, this thing's pretty cheap. I'll leave a price down below so you can see. But we're just going to get straight to the unboxing. So this is what it looks like and this is what it is. This is a phone clip and a flip mirror. You might be asking yourself, what can I do with that? Well, have you ever wanted to record a video with your phone, but you couldn't see what's on the phone because you're using the back camera? Now, why do we want to use the back camera? Because the back camera is a lot more powerful. On iPhones, particularly, they have the three different lenses. So you got the wide angle, and you got the regular zoom, and you can do cinematic mode, and you can do all kinds of cool stuff. But you can't do that same stuff with the front camera. The front-facing camera is pretty minimalistic. What they use that for typically is if you want to do like a, you know, like a FaceTime call or a Zoom meeting call or something like that is what you would use that for. But anything else, you're going to want to use that back camera because it's just better quality. You can get 4K. The front camera can only do 1080p. So there's lots of advantages. This makes that happen. So we're just going to open it up and then I'm going to tell you how it does that. We got our handy knife here. We got this little strip on the top we got to get through. And it's just got plastic wrap, nothing too fancy. Not a huge box or anything like that. See the box is pretty tiny compared to my hand. We're going to flip this open. And this should be pretty simple to figure out. You just got this little black box there. Nothing else in the box. We're going to pull this out. There is a cover for the mirror itself which is good. We don't want to get that damaged. It does say that it's Ulanzi uh, qualified certificate. So uh, upon inspection and test this product is qualified. Okay, great. So here we have it, and it's metal. So you would think it would be plastic. I'm glad that they used metal in this case. I don't want something that I can 3D print. Plastic covers the mirror, and that's, that's what you have. And so the coolest part about this is you mount it to your phone, and you're going to be able to see what is on your the front of your phone while you're using the back camera. So we're gonna get this hooked up so you guys can check it out. Okay, so we just went and got our phone. We didn't set it completely up because I wanted you guys to see how it's done. Underneath here, we have a little screw hole. Now this is gonna be for a mount or a stand or a tripod, something like that. You're gonna be able to screw right into here, right? And so here we have a flexible, adjustable stand for our mirror and it's got different angles. We can come up and down. The cool thing that I like about this is that this doesn't move super easily. You can see I can whack it and it's not going anywhere. And that's good because we don't want it moving on us when we don't intend for it to move. There's a piece of pad on the back here. Some nice rubber on the bottom to protect your phone. Here's my big case scenario. You see this curve, right? So this curve right inside of here is important. Why do you ask? Because what happens with phones generally is you see phones have buttons like this right and it depends on what kind of phone you have is where the button placement typically is with the phone the issue with that is that if your buttons are near this place where it slides in just like this then this will hit your buttons and hold them down on your phone now if you have an iphone user if you're an iphone user you probably experienced this happening to you and it sends off an sos because if you hold down these buttons on an iphone it'll send out emergency services uh, that is not good. So typically we would have to film like this, right? So we'd have to flip this camera to face you. And, oh, it's doing all kinds of crazy things. Let's go to, just want the pan out. So let's get back to video. Sometimes you have to have it facing you like this, right? But in this case, we're able to use the more powerful back camera. So we don't have to do it this way. We can flip this thing around. And you can see here, I don't know how easy it is to see that, but there's a tiny little cutout right there. So if you see the buttons right here, this will actually slide right over top of them. See how it slid over top of the button without impacting the button. That is a big deal to me. 90% of mounts do not have that feature. See it a little bit better there as I slide it straight through the button. See how it's not touching it? Because it's not flat. 
that curb is very important and that's attention to detail that a designer can either make or break their product with sometimes. So I like that fact. Um, so what do we want to be able to see? Well, we want the camera, and this is an older phone, but I just want to show you. So we want the camera to be facing us, right? So we want to be able to film us like this. But in order to do that, we can't see what is happening on the other side. That's where this comes in mega. So this, as you can see, can be positioned either direction. We obviously want it to face the camera side. So we're going to have this Ulanzi actually facing the front. Typically you can have your camera on the bottom or you can have it up here on the top. If you have the, the newer iPhones, you're going to have three, but you can have them down here or up here. I like to face them on the top. Now a big important thing to remember is if you see these numbers on the left, if those numbers right there are not facing up, then your phone becomes in the 4x3 direction. This is only good if you're filming something for like TikTok or Instagram. You want 16x9. You're not 16x9 right now because you see how the numbers flipped straight up like that. That's bad. We want them facing that direction. And it's super hard to see, but you can see the numbers there. So that's important. Number one tip. Number two, we're going to mount this in the shoe, but we want to be able to see the whole screen. So we really want to mount it this direction because we don't care about the other side. The only thing we care about the other side is that the camera can actually get a shot. This is super strong. The springs on this are loaded. I'm telling you right now, you're not going to to worry about your phone coming out. Now there is a couple different shoe mounts. See this one here? That's a slotted mount. So you can slide in your, like if you have the knob style, uh, sh if you already have the cold shoe mounted on the top of your tripod, the cold shoe fits inside of there and then you just screw down the knobs. We'll kind of show you that. Uh, but this also opens up doors for me to add a cold shoe on top of the light, right? Because lots of lights have that. I did a review on a light uh, just recently. I'll leave a link above that has that option. Down here is where our screw hole is for the tripod mount. So we want that to be down in this case because we're gonna pretend like we're mounting this on a tripod and we're gonna leave this cold shoe on top set up for that. So we want this mirror to face just like this. So that what happens is you can look at your camera but at the same time you can see exactly what you're filming down inside of here. So I can be using this for a complete shoot and it's going to position me and I can see exactly where I'm positioned on the camera right now. So I could rotate this around. So I'm going to record a little bit on here so you guys can see that. But yeah, I'm looking right inside of the, the, uh, the lens. I know that I'm facing the right direction. I know that it's got my head. My head's not chopped right there. My head's chopped off. Right there, my head is not chopped off. And I could see that, and that's very important. And you can make manual adjustments to this mirror. So tilt it down, tilt it up. It is uh, convex, which means it kind of points, or kind of caves out like this with a bubble. And what that means is that you're gonna get more wider angle from your view. It's like a, the blind spot mirrors on your car. So this is very cool, and you can see it right inside of there. You can see right down inside of here, you can see the, the phone screen right down inside of there. And that is just awesome. So now this becomes very, very feasible, right? So now I can film on my phone out, out nowhere and still see myself. I'm not losing the quality by just using the front facing camera. This thing's rigid and it's tough. You can see that the arm right there does not touch the phone. The arm is still far enough away from the phone to not create problems. This is tough and rigid. It's got a strong bolt here and a strong bolt there to keep everything together. And it's metal. That's the most important part. This isn't just some cheap plastic. It's not, it's not super expensive and it gives you a lot of quality of life features because now this becomes a viable way to record video. Some people don't realize that their phone's cameras are more powerful than some cameras on the market. Even camcorders are in seven, eight hundred dollar range. That is because specifically Apple, and there's other ones out there, but specifically Apple spends a lot of time on R&D for their cameras. That is their big feature of their, of their devices. So I'm going to show you this on a tripod. We had to lower it so I can show you how to mount it on here. Now this one's one of our tripods that we have reviewed in the past. If you guys want to take a look at that video, we have lots and lots of reviews out there and we're just going to keep having more. 
So I like this tripod because it adjusts this way and you can rotate it this way and there's a level on the side. But the most important thing is that there's a knob right underneath here that allows us to rotate this. And what that's gonna do is allow me to mount this. So like I was telling you guys before, we want to see the, we want the camera facing us. So since this tilts in this direction, you can see here, this direction, then we want this which is actually going to end up being this way. We want it facing you, right? So we're gonna mount it just like this. We just screw this in, super easy, and these are pretty universal, the way that these things all mount, they're all the same. So you're not gonna have to worry about your tripod not being able to mount to this uh, Ulanzi, because it will, and they're, they're all universal. It's a great thing. Okay, so you can see better angle there on how this thing is mounted. It looks good. And uh, like I said, the, the coolest thing is that you can see exactly what's going on. You can see exactly. Don't forget to tighten down your, uh, your tripod when you have this mounted. But now we're good, right? So now I can put a light on top of this. We're getting closer to turning this into a full bore camera uh, setup to where we can actually use this in the field. We could take this out on film somewhere, or uh, if you don't have a tripod, you can still find a way to mount this thing, but uh, you're probably your best bet is to get one of these cheaper tripods. This thing has extendable legs, so you can make it as tall as you like. I'm just using it for this, uh, this height for your viewing purposes. So if you guys haven't seen my review on this Hello Tofu light, which is very, very cool, made by uh, Photolex, I do have a review on that. You can go check that video out after this one. But it has this cold shoe mount, okay? And these are, like I said, typical, typically the same for everything as well. So we have lots of these lights. I, I probably have 10 of these, just these style. But I like this one because it has the uh, specific uh, fusion on the lens. So I like that. So anyways, we're going to put it up here. So you have that. And then we can just tighten this down. The nut on top is just to uh, keep the, the, the nut on the bottom from spinning. It's a locking mechanism. But uh, it can also be used in this manner or this direction to make sure it's tight. But in this case, we're going to use it as a locking mechanism. You want to make sure your screw is in there real good. So there we go. I mean, we have a total setup right now, right? So how cool is this? And you can do different filters. But the best part is I can still see, even with... So if you come over here and look at the side of my head, even with that light on top, I can still see myself in the mirror behind it. So it does give you that option, but of course this is adjustable, right? So we can take this, kind of make our adjustments to where I can still see the screen right there. I can see myself and we're good to go. Now it is a little bit more limiting. Um, I'm not gonna lie. You can't see as much, but that that's okay because the purpose is, is just to make sure that you're centered in the shot. And you can see there a little bit better what it looks like. Um, so like I said, the main purpose is to make sure that you're just centered in the shot, that you're getting a good shot. You don't need to literally stare at yourself the entire time. There are teleprompter apps that you can put a teleprompter script on this side because now you've opened that door. And when you record the video, the, the script doesn't show up, but it will show up for you to do your recording. So it's great for something like this. I mean, you got pretty much a built-in teleprompter as well. I'm gonna leave a price down below. I'm also gonna leave a, a description of what this thing can all do and, and where you can get your very own. So you guys need to check that out. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button, mash the bell, hit the dislike button if you hate it. I don't care either way, but uh, hit that bell so you can get notified when we release new videos all the time. So if you like this video, go check out our video on the light. Maybe you want to check out our video on Yulanzi products. You could check out our video for lots of different reviews. And uh, like I said, we're just going to create, keep creating more because we want you guys to have the inside scoop on some cool things that you can do with these products, as well as just if they're good quality products before you go out and spend your hard earned money on it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.